Gordon mentioned to us yesterday that he kind of saw what he was doing as sort of a test and that as much as anything, how he felt today would be as good an indication as any to date. How did he make out after testing the hand? And do you, beyond that, do you know anything yet? Yeah, still day to day, Rick. I mean, let's see how he responds tomorrow morning. Um, you know, there could be a little bit of soreness, but let's, let's see what it looks like. But I thought today was a good day for him. You know, what I saw, how, how he felt. Um, but I think the big test will, will be how he feels in the morning. Um, you know, we don't want any setbacks. We want it to be uh, more painful or sore. Um, but I was encouraged that he got through his entire workout. To me, that was a positive. Um, do you, how do you plan to uh, use your minutes tonight in the last game? Similar, Rick. I think I'm going to go with a similar rotation, similar number of minutes. Um, again, I, you know, this is going to be gut feel throughout the game, but I'd like to see this group run it back again. I'll make a few tweaks to a few different rotations, but um, in general, I'd like to get to similar numbers again tonight. Thanks. Josh Robbins. Wow. Yeah, hi, James. <laughs> Who allowed that guy in here? <laughs> uh, yes, they they have a all riffraff pol policy, I guess, uh, which let me in. Um, God, I forgot my question. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, what, for Magic fans who are not familiar with Dwayne Bacon, what, what are some of the things he brings to the table and what are some of the areas where um, the Hornets sought improvement from him? Yeah, Dwayne's a, a really good kid, first of all. Good worker, uh, plays hard, and, you know, he really studies his craft and wants to get better. Um, you know, we're pulling for him, but um, he's a scorer. At the end of the day, he's a scorer. He's, he's a mid-range guy. He can get to the rim. He can make plays for himself. You know, he's a guy that can guard his position. He's got good size. He's a physical wing. So, you know, he, he's, you know, he's a good player. We've enjoyed having him in our program. So, yeah, I'm happy that he found a, a nice home. Thank you. Yes, sir. Sam Perley. Hey, JB, I know one of the things you said after the game on Thursday was the offensive rebounding you wanted cleaned up. When you look back at the tape, was there anything on it that stood out to you about why they were getting so many second chance points? Yeah, not enough box outs, not, en not enough physicality. Um, we were one of the better teams the first two games, you know, doing that. And uh, last game, obviously, we did not do that. Uh, we got to be more physical tonight. Part of it is we were in rotations at the rim. You know, when our bigs are at the rim helping, uh, those smalls got to come in and crack the bigs. You know, Vooch is a big time offensive rebounder. He's been doing this for a number of years, you know. As long as I've known Booch, he's a big-time offensive rebounder. He's got a knack for it. So if that big goes to help, he's going to be all over the glass. So it's it's the guard's responsibility. It's all five guys' responsibility to get in there and dig it out, uh, not just standing around hoping someone else gets it or watching the play be more physical. Thank you. Thank you. Richie, go ahead. Hey, JB, this is Richie. Uh, so you've been using 11 or 12 players in your rotation for the preseason. In terms of your regular season rotation, what's that ideal number of players that you want for your regular season rotation? You know, Richie, I'm not sure yet, to be honest. I, you know, I, I, I wouldn't go more than 10. Um, you know, is it going to be 8 to 10, somewhere in that range? Uh, we got a number of guys that are playing well, so they're pushing me to, you know, play some minutes as well. Um, I'm going to have to make some tough decisions, though, as we go. And... You know, that's that's not easy as a coach because I think there's a number of guys that have earned minutes in these three games. Uh, but I do like the depth. I'm not opposed to playing 10 a night. Um, but that that's stretching us a little bit. So it's going to be eight to 10 consistently. Um, probably closer towards the 10 early on as I get a feel for this team. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Rafael. Hey, coach. It's tonight. Tonight you said that you wanted to. Um, you're going to use the similar rotation, similar minutes. Since it's the last preseason game, is tonight that night where this will decide 
on the 10 that you will use as far as like two, you don't have to give names, of course, but is it like two or three people that you have, you're looking to see what they do in this rotation to see if they will make that 10, 10 personnel depth? Yeah, it's become clear to me. I think the, the, the top 10 has been a little clear to me, I think, especially after last game. Uh, I'm looking for that group to, to build on what I saw over the last three games. Um, and I have a better sense, though, now where we're headed. And I'll take a look at that group again tonight. Obviously, that could change after tonight. I may have a different feel coming, you know, coming into the season opener. But uh, right now, I have a pretty good sense of, of the top 10. It doesn't mean it can't change, though. Thank you. Dante? JB, you look good, brother. Marcatelli, how are we doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. I wish my beard came in like yours. That's nice. A lot of a lot of grays now. Yes, absolutely. Hey, I got to quite. You look good. The team looks good. You, you've always had a, a way to motivate guys and be able to get guys to buy into to the game plan. This team plays hard. You play with pace. What was your message to this group? What What are you trying to tell them to do this year? Yeah, it really starts with our culture and what we want to be about. It's our identity, Dante, as you know, the things I stand for and I believe in. And it's really about team. Get over yourself. Be a part of something bigger than yourself. Um, that's at the core of who we are. Uh, play for each other. Play with the pass. And it's contagious. Right now we're playing with the pass. Nobody moves it more than we do in the NBA. Uh, our assist percentage has said that the last uh, two years. And I expect guys to play that way. Um, if you don't, you're not going to play you know, so get out there, compete, stay together, uh, continue to develop, Dante. I mean, I, I don't want anybody sitting around being satisfied with where they're at. I expect everybody to develop, to be curious about their job, to do their job and be professional every day. And lastly, it's, it's I trust my guys. I want my guys to feel like at the end of the day, coach, trust me. Uh, I'm going to put the ball in their hands. I'm going to trust them with minutes. Um, and with that comes responsibility. And so far, they've handled it with um, being extremely responsible. Uh, we've cleaned up some things on both ends of the floor the last, you know, last game. Uh, but I want our guys more than anything to play together, play for each other, and compete their tails off. Terrific. Good luck this year. Thank you, buddy. Rick, we'll go back to you. Maybe, um, where do you think Malik stands at this point? You were obviously testing you know, what he could handle as far as conditioning and whatever after COVID? Yeah, I got to, I got to, you know, watch him a little more tonight. He's been out for a while, guys. I mean, he's just, I, I got to get him up to speed in conditioning. He's done extra work, you know, uh, yesterday and today. He's trying to get himself back to, back to form. And it's not easy. This, this virus is, it's a, it's a major deal. And, um, you know, we just got to get him back to speed. But one day at a time for him, uh, he knows we're with him. I want nothing but the best for Malik, and I believe in him. I trust him, and uh, we just got to get him back to 100% uh, form. Thanks. Last question, we'll go to Rod Boone. Hey, JB, we're preseason pretty much behind you now on camp over. What have you learned most about your team so far? I mean, what stands out mostly about the guys of, of you know, the players you have and just your, your group so far? Yeah, they, they've got a real energy about them that I love. Um, when we get to the gym, when we come to work, there is a joy about this team. And more than anything, when, we, when I show up, and all of us, this isn't just basketball, all of us that do a job for a living, when you do it with joy, there, there's a great reward in that. I can. I, I look forward to coming to the gym every day. I enjoy the people I'm around. Uh, I want to get better. I want to see the best in, in my coworkers. And this group has done that to this point. They, they really have a real genuine joy about being in the gym, being around each other. And as a coach, you never know what that's going to look like. And, um, you know, this is a new group for us. I didn't know how we would integrate Gordon and LaMelo and the rookies and, you know, it feels like we're, you know, we're headed down an, uh, a very positive path with this group. And it's really their joy, their energy, their spirit um, and their connection. 
you know, one of the things we've talked about to start camp, my first Zoom with them is be fully connected as a unit. And so far, I've seen that. Thank you. Thank you.